Okay, we solved which year last yesterday? 2019, right? So we are supposed to solve which one now? 2020, right? Ah, my own does not have 2020. My own not get 2020. Can someone just borrow me one so that we can solve 2020? Um, should we use 330? Should we use 330? I, I think most of you have 330, right? Okay. Most of you have 330. I be three, why, why, why are you saying no to 330? Eh? You don't have phone. Because you don't have phone. You don't like the app. Oh yeah, let's use 330. Uh, but I don't have the app on my phone, no. Okay, I should call your phone. I hope it will not lock. There's no password. There is. Okay. Is that your birthday? <laughs> okay, which year is this? 2020, right? Okay, if you have your 330 app, you can just open it. If you don't have, I admire my face, okay? Yes. You don't have phone, just keep admiring me. Am I not phone enough? Am I not phone enough? So I'm not phone enough. Okay. They said a few grains. Huh? I said 2020. Are the questions random or is just the same, right? Okay. 2020, we are on number one. A few grains of table salt were put in a cup of cold water, kept at a constant temperature, and left undisturbed. Sorry, undistributed. Eventually, all the water tasted salty. This action is due to what? Is it diffusion? What is diffusion? Movement of what? Molecules from region of region, higher concentration, lower concentration. Okay, number two. Which was a repeat of what we solved yesterday, Sha? The force required to make an object of mass M traveling with velocity V turn in a circle of radius R is what? Over R. MV squared over R, right? Ah, I wish they would just repeat all these things. A machine gun with a mass of 5 kg fires a 50 gram bullet at a speed of 100 meters per second. The recoil speed of the machine gun is. We answer this too. What would you get as the answer? One. Do you still remember how it solved? Okay. Next one. If a simple pendulum experiment, sorry, if in a simple pendulum experiment, the length of the inextensible string is increased by a factor of four. Each period is increased by a factor of what? Eh? By what? A factor of two. It is doubled. Okay? So remember that period, period is proportional to the square root of length. Are we here? So if I increase the length by a factor of four, meaning multiply by four, you see that that four, imagine length was one, for example, and I say four times one. Four times one will be four. Square root of 4 is how many? 2. So you will now have 2. Your, your period will now be doubled. Your period will be doubled. Okay, next question. In what range of temperature is the expansion of water anomalous? Is it 0 to 4? Yes. We answered it yesterday too. Okay, another one. Which of the following statements about radioactivity is true? Alpha particle, I, alpha particle is positively charged. Is it true? Yes. Beta particle is negatively charged. Yes. Gamma ray is neutral. Yes. Beta particle has the same mass as helium atom. No. Gamma ray is charged. No. So answer is what? I, 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 and I, I, I. Okay, nice one. Okay, then there is a diagram. Can you see the diagram? They said in the study of physics, temperature and heat are often... Uh, Ah, uh, are they smoking? 
Okay, I think they, there's a mixture with the diagram and all that. Okay, it's probably a diagram for another question. In the study of physics, temperature and heat are often confused with each other. Which of the following statement correctly explains, sorry, defines these two elements? A, temperature is the average kinetic energy of molecules of a substance. B, heat is the measure of total kinetic energy of the molecules of a system. C, different materials require different amounts of heat to cause a given change in temperature. Yes. D, all of the above. So answer is what? All of the above. Okay. Now, okay, now the diagram again, then the correct question. They said, the effect of closing the key, K. I think we have answered this question. Are you sure? Yes. It's me as if we answered on Monday or so. Eh? Okay, I think it's the right class. The effect of closing the key, K, in the circuit shown above would be towards... Okay, now, Oya, pay attention first. Let's see what will happen. Now, class, in this circuit, remember they are looking for the effect of closing the key. So, first of all, let's assume that the key is still open. Now, if the key is still open, it means that this 8 ohm here will not work. This guy will not be working. So, the only thing working is 8 and 2. So, 8 series 2 is how many? 10. So, what will be the current in the circuit? 6 over 10, which is 0 0.6 what? Six ampere. Now, but if I close the key, if I close the key, this 8 will now be working. And the 8 will now be in parallel with this 8. So 8 parallel, 8 is how many? 4. How did I get 4? Pick 1 and divide by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 series 2 is how many? 6. So the current will be 6 over 6, which is what? 1 ampere. So what happened to the current? Did it increase or decrease? By how much? 0 0.4. Do we have an answer that is like that? Yes. Good. So the answer is option what? Yes. Okay, option A. Increase the current by 0 0.4 ampere. Which of the following statements on the use of x-rays is incorrect? Which of the following statements on the use of x-rays is incorrect? A. In hospitals, to obtain photographs of tissues and bones in the body. Is it true? Yes. For the treatment of malignant growth like cancer cells? Yes. In detecting fingerprints? No. So answer is C, Abby. Yes. Uh -huh. C is the answer. Natural radioactivity consists of emission of what? A. Alpha particles and beta rays. B. Alpha particles and X-rays. C. Gamma rays and X-rays. D. Alpha particles, beta rays and gamma rays. Is that option D? Yes. Okay, next question. If a source of sound is moving, that is sound, not solid, a stationary listener will hear a sound of different frequency. This is called what? Doppler is it Doppler effect? Yes. Doppler effect. Which of the following can be described as high tension transmission? As high tension transmission. A, high resistance and low voltage. B, low current and high voltage. Is that the answer? Yes. So low current and high voltage. Class, what if Jam asks you that electricity is supplied at high voltage and low current so as to dash? What is the answer? Uh -huh. So as to do what? So as to do what? Uh -huh. Why do you supply electricity at high voltage and low current? To minimize heat loss. To minimize what? To minimize heat loss. That is it. Oh yeah, next question. What is the cost of running 550 watt lamps and the four 100 watt lamps for 10 hours if electrical energy costs 2 kobo? Per kilowatt hour. Okay. Oh. 
see as I buy phone. <laughs> oh yeah, let's find our total power first. Total power, they said 50 watt to zone called it. 50 watt to zone five. So power will be five times 50 plus 100 watt to zone. So four times 100. So this is 250 times four, sorry, plus 400. What would that give to me? 650 watts. Then Ngwazi had a cost is PRT over 1,000. Are we here? So 650 times, what is the tariff? They said electricity costs what? How many kobo? Two kobo. Two kobo per kilowatt. For how many hours? Ten. Divided by 1,000. Zero cancel zero. Zero cancel zero. 65 times two is how many? 130 over 10. This and this. Answer is 13 kobo. Are we here? Uh -huh. But 13 Kobo is not there. Yeah. Is it there? Yeah. Okay, it's there as Naira. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, in Naira, that is 0 0.13. How do you convert Kobo to Naira? Yeah. Divide by 100. Okay, next question. The mass of a proton is approximately equal to that of a what? A, alpha particle. Is it alpha particle? No. Is it beta particle? No. Is it a neutron? Is he electron? No. An it's not electron. Answer is what? Neutron. Why? Because proton. Proton is represented as 1-1. One, one. This is proton. Neutron is represented as 1-0. So because this one, this is 1, this is 1, that is why we say that they have approximately equal masses. Okay? Now, your phone again. Do you have junior ones at home? And they used to use your last born game, Abby. <laughs> a transformer has 300 tons of wire in the primary coil and 30 tons in the secondary coil. If the input voltage is 100 volts, the output voltage is what? Okay, do you know the transformer formula? Yes. What is the transformer formula? NS over what? NP equal to VS over VP. According to the question, what is NS? 300. Is it 330? 30, 30 Abby? Yes. Check, 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 check. A transformer has 300 tons of wire in the primary and 30 in the what? Secondary. So NS is 30 over 300. They said inputs. Inputs is through the primary. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. So we are looking for VS. So this guy is 100. So two zeros cancel two zeros. Three year one, three years how many? 10. What is VS? 10 votes. So VS is 10 votes. Okay? VS is 10 votes. Okay, next question. A solid weighs 4.8 grams in air, comma, 2.8 grams in water, and 3.2 grams in kerosene. The ratio of the density of the solid to that of the kerosene is what? Okay, so let's find the density of the solid first. Then we also find the density of kerosene and then divide both of them. So density of solid or let's use relative density because both of them can be used interchangeably. The only difference is that relative density does not have what units. Now, when we talk about relative density of solid, it is equal to weight in air over weight of equal volume of water. Over what? Weight of equal vol of water. Now, according to the question, they did not give us weight. They gave us mass. So we can still use mass. Now, so relative density of the solid will be, what is the weight in air class? 4.8. Over. Now, they said that, according to them, when it is in water, when it is in water, what is the weight? Okay, 2.8 grams in water, right? So I will say 4.8 minus 2.8. So weight of equal volume of water. That is what is the uptrust in water. So this minus 2.8. This will give me 4.8 over 2. Okay, yeah? which will give me 2.4. There'll be at one side. Now, relative density of liquid or kerosene is equal to uptrust in kerosene over uptrust in water. Now, uptrust in kerosene will be weight in air minus weight in kerosene. Over uptrust in water, of course, is weight in air minus weight in water. 
So this is 4.8 minus 3.2 over 4.8 minus what? 2.8, right? What would this give to me? 1.2. Sorry, 1.6. Are we here? Over 2, which is 0 point eight. So they said we should find the relative density of relative density of the solid to the relative density of kerosene. That will be what did we get as solid? Is what? 2.4 divided by 0 0.8 will give me what? We give me 3. That is option gain. Option B. Is it D? Yes, option D, sorry. One of the following readings represent the measurement of the length of a metal rod using vinyl calipers. Taking the reading accuracy into consideration, the most likely one is what? Yes, so taking reading accuracy into um, consideration, our answer should be A, right? Yes. Answer should be A because whether vinyl caliper or, uh, what is it called? What is the other one? Vinyl caliper or meter rule, okay? They have two decimal places. They are recorded in how many decimal places? Two decimal places. Two decimal places, very important. When a sound wave passes from air into water, it's what? A, speed and frequency increase, but wavelength remains the same. Is that true? B, speed and wavelength increases, but its frequency remains the same. Is that true? Yes, yes that is your answer. Next question. A convex mirror is used as a driving mirror because I, its image is erect. I, I, it has a large field of view. I, 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 it has a long focal length. Identify the correct statement. I and what? I, 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 Abby? Yeah. Uh -huh. Next question. Okay, we have a diagram there. Two mirrors of same length are arranged as shown in the diagram. Shall we answer this question before? Answer is what? 180. Answer is 180. A magnetic needle is suspended first at the Earth's magnetic, not magnetic pole, and then at a point on the magnetic equator, the respective angles between needle and horizontal are what? Is it 90 and 0? Yes. We answered it also on Monday, yes. if you remember. A hydrometer is an instrument for measuring the words. Relative density of words? By finding the apparent loss in words. Wait. That is option C, Abby. No, 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 no. Ew, 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 ew. By, by what? Method of what? Flotation. Please, it is by method of flotation. I'm sorry for that. Class, what is... The instrument for measuring relative humidity. Is it hygrometer? Yes. Okay. Now, okay, don't worry, we'll come back to that. Now, next question. Look at that diagram there. Look at that diagram. They said, consider the three forces acting at O and in its equilibrium, whatever, whatever. They said, which of the following statements are correct? Which of the following statements are correct? So let's see how we can solve that. Okay, so look at what I have. This, 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 theta 1, theta 2, P1, P2, P3. Okay, now class, for us to be able to know which ones are correct, we need to first of all resolve that system to the horizontal and to the vertical. Okay? To the horizontal and to the vertical. Now, when resolving to the horizontal, please use cosine. Use what now? When resolving to the vertical, use what now? Sine. So resolving to the horizontal, we use cosine. Resolving to the vertical, we use what now? Sine. Oh yeah, let's do that. Starting with P1. I will say P1 cos theta 1. Because this theta 1 belongs to P1. Plus, uh, I can say P2 cos theta 2. Then if I come to this guy, it will be minus. Why minus? Because if I am on the horizontal axis, everything on my right is positive. Everything to my left is negative. Remember, let's say you are plotting graph. For those of you that have written yek, everything on top is positive y. Are we here? Yes. Everything down is negative y. Yes. To the right is positive x. To the left is what? Yes. 
negative x. So have that in mind as you are doing it. So minus P3 cos, what is the angle of P3? Zero. Why is it zero? It is on the horizontal axis. Horizontal what? Obu non of na vertical axis, I'll go again in 90. Uh -huh. And this will be equal to zero. Why will I put zero? Because they said it is at equilibrium. And according to the principle of equilibrium, the first principle says that the algebraic sum of forces on the body must be equal to what? Zero. Good. So looking at this, I can move this guy over so that P1 cos theta 1 plus P2 cos theta 2 is equal to P3 because cos 0 is what? 1. So if I move it over, this is what we have. Do we have something like that there? Do we have something like that there? Check. Check. Do you have something like that there? Yes. Eh? Yes. So we have this one, but we are not done yet. Now, let's also resolve to the um, vertical now. Let's resolve to the vertical. So I said vertical, what do we use? Sine. So I start with P1 again. So P1 sine theta 1. Then to this guy, I will say minus P2 sine theta 2. Why am I using minus for P2 now? Because if I am on the y-axis, everything down is what? Negative. Okay? Then, this one, you can use plus or minus, anything you want to use, plus, because it will still cancel out. So, plus P3 sine 0, equal to 0. So, what is P3 sine 0? Zero? 0. Because sine 0 is 0, up here. So, this guy is gone. So, move this guy over there. You will have P1 sine theta 1 equals P2 sine theta 2. Do we have something like that there? Okay, so those are the two answers that we'll get. So answer is option what? Okay. We have uh, I, I, and what? I, I, and I, I, I now. Eh? They wrote it for. It's probably a mistake now. You know it's a mistake. Eh? Eh? And there is no even I, I, and uh, I, I, I. So if that was really theta 4, that means um, answer will be only I, I, I now. Eh? Oya kineku. Let's just go with that. Anyone shall? But you know what we did here now? Okay? We've shown how to get it. Okay, the refractive index of a liquid is 1.5. If the velocity of light in vacuum is 3 times 10 power 8, the velocity of light in the liquid is what? I will tell them that any refractive index is speed in air over speed in glass or that liquid. Okay, liquid. 1.5 is equal to 3 times 10 power 8 over speed in the liquid. So V in the liquid is 3 times 10 power 8 over 1.5. 1.5 year 1, 1.5 years how many? 2. So you have 2 times 10 power 8. Is it there? Next question. A ship traveling towards a cliff. Did we answer that question yesterday? Eh? A ship traveling towards a cliff receives the echo of its whistle after 3.5 seconds. We answered it now. Uh -huh. And a short while later, it receives the echo after 2.5 seconds. If the speed of sound under the prevailing condition is 250, how much closer is the ship to the cliff? And we got 125. Abi? Uh -huh. Which of the following statements about defects of vision is or are correct? For a long-sighted person, close objects appear blood. Is it true? Yes. Eh? Aye, yes. aye. For a short-sighted person, distant objects appear blurred. Is it true? Yes. Okay. Short sight is corrected by using a pair of converging lenses. So answer is what? I, I, I. I and I, I. Next question. Which of the following conditions are necessary and sufficient for total internal reflection to take place at the boundary between two optical media? I. Light is passing from optically denser medium to optically less dense medium. Is that true? So from denser to less dense, that is true. I, I, light is passing from optically less dense medium to optically denser medium? No. Um, I, 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 angle of incidence is greater than certain critical value? Yes. So answer is what? I and I, I, I. 
the linear expansivity of brass is 2 times 10 power minus 5. If the volume of a piece of brass is 10 cm cubed at 0 degrees Celsius, what will be the volume at 100 degrees Celsius? Have we answered that question before? Okay, no problem. Let's do that. Now, um, volume expansivity gamma is V2 minus V1 over V1 theta 2 minus theta 1. Are we here? Now, but they did not give us volume expansivity. What they gave us was gonna linear expansivity alpha. Can we convert that alpha to volume expansivity? Yes. Multiplying by what? 3. And if you do that, you will have 6 times 10 power minus 5. Are we here? Uh -huh. Equal to V2, we don't know. Minus V1 is 10 over V1 is 10, bracket 100 minus 0. Are we here? Yeah. So 6 times 10 power minus 5 equals V2 minus 10 over 10 times 100. 10 times 100 is how much? 1,000. 1,000 will multiply everything here to give me 0 0.06. Abi? Check it. Equals V2 minus 10. Then you make V to the subject. 10 crosses over. 0 0.06 plus 10. That will give me 10.06 cm cube. Option A. The lower and upper fixed points marked on a mercury in glass thermometer are 210 meters apart, millimeters apart. The end of the mercury column in the tube is 49 millimeters above the lower fixed points. What is the temperature of the room in degrees Celsius? What is the temperature of the room in degrees Celsius? Okay? So I am going to draw a Celsius thermometer. Class for a Celsius thermometer, lower fixed point is what? Zero. Upper is how many? 100. Now, for that whatever, for that mercury thermometer that they are talking about, they said that the upper and lower are separated by a distance of 210. So they've given us the range. Like they've given us the range, Ozubo, Ozubo. And they told us that a certain point is 49 millimeters from the fixed point. So from Eba to Eba, about 49 millimeters. They are asking us to now find the temperature, theta. So what will I say here? Theta minus zero over 100 minus zero. Are we here? Equal to, I would just say 49 over 210 because they gave me the distance instead. They gave me the distance. So, theta over 100 is 49 over 210. Seven here is seven. Seven here is how many? 30. Zero cancel one of the zeros. Cross multiply. Three theta is equal to 70, right? So that theta is 70 over 3, which will give me what? 23 point what? 3 degrees Celsius. Do we have it there? Yeah. Heat is supplied. Next question. Heat is supplied uniformly at a rate of 100 watts to 1 times 10 power minus 2 kg of a liquid for 20 seconds. For 20 seconds. They now asked us, if the temperature of the liquid is raised by 5 degrees Celsius, the specific heat capacity of the liquid is what? What formula will I tell them? Power times time is what? MC delta theta. So 100 times 20 equals 1 times 10 power minus 2 times C, I don't know. Change in temperature is how many? 5. Five. So this will give me 2,000 equals, um, this times 5 is what? 5 times 10 power minus 2 C. So that C becomes 2,000 divided by, now 5 times 10 power minus 2 is 0 0.05. Are we here? And when I divide, I should get 40,000. So 40,000. In standard form, KD4 Power 4, okay? Okay. Yes, because the answers are in standard form. So 4 times 10 power 4. Next question, 31. They said two divers, G and H, are at depths. Two divers, G and H, are at depths. 20 meters and uh, 40 meters, respectively, below a lake. Okay? 
So what are we doing there? So this is the surface of that lake. Now, the first diver, G, is at a depth of what? 20 meters. Second diver, H, is at a depth of how many? 40 meters. This is diver H. They said the pressure at G is P1. Pressure at H is what? P2. And atmospheric pressure is how many? 10 meters of water. No, they gave it there. They said it is 10 meters of water. So if I know atmospheric pressure, then I can determine the value of P1 and P2. So that, according to the question, they said we should find P2 over P1. Are we here? Oh yeah, let's find P1 first. Now class, when an object is in a liquid, the total pressure on that object is the pressure due to the liquid plus the atmospheric pressure. Plus the what now? So when you go to the swimming pool and you are swimming, the total pressure on you when you enter the water is the pressure of the weight of water above you plus the pressure due to the air. That is atmospheric pressure because atmospheric pressure is pressing down on the water and the water is also pressing down on you. So the total pressure, P1, will be atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to the height. And atmospheric pressure was how many? 10. Plus pressure due to height is how many? 20. When you add, what do you get? 30. And then do the same thing for P2. It is going to be 10 plus how many? 40. What would this give me? 50. Then I will say P2 over P1 is 50 over 30, which will give me 1.6 what? 7. Are we here? 1.67. Is it then the option? Option Guinea? Option C. Ah, this image, eh? the kind of compression that happened in this image. Okay? So they said in the diagram above a block and tackle system, efficient. That, I think I've seen this question before. Okay? And it's actually six pulleys, not four. Okay? The original question there is, is not four pulleys. In a diagram, four. But normally it's actually six. Okay? It's actually six pulleys. Okay, so if you use that, W should be 50. W should be 50. W should be 50, okay? Because, okay, if you look at um, their explanation, you if you click explanation, they use the velocity ratio as 6 to tell you that it is there. It is 6. Okay, look at the diagram there. They said, in an experiment, in an experiment, in which molten naphthalene is cool, allowed to cool. The cooling curve is, sorry, the cooling curve in the figure was obtained, okay? The temperature 80 degrees Celsius is known as the what? So as it is going down, it is cooling. That constant temperature is what? Melting point. It is the melting point. Melting point. Okay, then we have a diagram. We have a diagram, okay? Okay, so we have a circuit where we have three ohms. Then we have an ammeter which records two ampere. And then we have another connection of resistor arrow in parallel with another resistor six. And um, across a voltage of 12 volts, this. Okay, oh, yeah, again, until now, there are so many ways to kill a rat. Do you believe that? Uh -huh. One of the ways you can kill a rat is you grab it by the throat and strangle it, all right? You know, follow. I mean, you cannot do it. Uh -huh. Don't worry. All of you that want to, want to do medicine, want to do radiography, nursing, pharmacy, your year one, by your 101, you are going to do practicals, and that practical will deal with dissection. So you are going to dissect an animal in the lab. Rats. A lizard. So they might ask you to get one particular organ out of the rat, a chopper rat. Eh? You now bring the rat, and the rat will be squeaking. You just hold it one side, and chop the other thing. Where are the sharp? Where are the sharp? 
Yes, now you get used to it. By the time you kill like five rats, you get used to it. Okay? In fact, from that day, once you enter, once you come back for holiday, rats see you, they'll be like, so ma. Okay? Because they know you are now a rat killer. Okay? Yes. After a while, you will not be dealing with human beings. Yes, now. Okay? Maybe in your 400 level, you will go for practicals and they will bring one condemned criminal and put on the, on the table for practical. Uh, and they say, okay, Chinaza, can you cut open the, the criminal and bring out the heart? You'll be like, no! I can't do this! <laughs> that is the end of your medicine study. <laughs> and you are gone. Okay? Like a friend was telling me that the first day she went for cadaver practical, she fainted. <laughs> she fainted. Okay? It's not easy. So think about when you go home, think about it again. Kema me ge me ge me change of course, okay? Yes, na yeah, na. After writing the jam, once the result is out, you go and do change of uh, eh? Ah, my ma anatomy, my ma medicine, they all of them will do it. Okay? Eh? Uh -huh now. Anatomy, if you are going for anatomy, that is like the worst. Eh? That is like the worst. Uh, any day you would do uh, any day you would do something like, let's say, let's say the anatomy of the reproductive organ. They now bring a prisoner. They now say, oh yeah, cut out the testicles. Eh? Can you get me? A child's <laughs> Eh? Yes. <laughs> okay, so better start preparing your mind now. Start preparing your mind. For those of you that you cannot, you cannot see blood, if you see blood, hey, just know that you will be drinking blood. I'd not say it on time. Uh, wait, you not know before. Uh, Okay, so they said we should find the value of R in this diagram. Eba abo, 12 volts. Eba abo, 6 ohms. Now, oh yeah, we have several ways, like I said, of solving the question. One way we can solve it is this. You can say, okay, oh, okay, oh, what is the total resistance? Now, this and this, how are they connected? Par. So, you will have R or 6R over 6 plus R. Up here? That is this guy. And it is in series with this. So, plus 3. Now, this is the total resistance times the total current is what now? 2 ampere. So, 2, that will give us the voltage, 12. I'm using that V is equal to IR. So, current is 2. Resistance is everything here. V is 12. So, 2 year 1. 2 year how many? 6. So, 6 arrow over 6 plus arrow plus 3 equal to 6. Collect like times. Move this three over. You will have six arrow over six plus arrow equals six minus three is how many? Cross what now? When you cross multiply, you have six r equals three times six is how many? Eighteen plus three r. Collect what now? Like times. Move this over. Six arrow minus three arrow is how many? Eighteen. So that six r. Sorry, three r. Up here is equal to 18, and R is 18 over 6, which is how many, sorry, 3, which is how many? 6. So R is 6. This is one way you can solve the question. Another way you can solve the question is this, class. Find the voltage across these two sides. Remember, if they are in parallel, they will have the same voltage, right? Eh? If they are in parallel, they will have the same voltage. So what do I do? Now, total voltage supplied here was getting was 12 volts, but the total current is 2 ampere. Now, when that current flows through this 3 ohm resistor, it will cause a voltage drop of 6 volts. So, why did I say 6? How did I get 6 volts? V is equal to IR. I is 2. R is how many? 3. So, 2 times 3 will give me 6. So, the voltage that this guy will collect is 6 volts. But remember, total voltage is how many? 12. If this guy collects 6, omega 4, 6. That 6 will now be shared between these two. And because they are in parallel, they will have the same voltage. Remember I, told, I gave you an instance the other day. I said a situation where you are the governor and America gives you 10 billion to share to the masses. How much will you share? You will share all of them. Who said all of them? You. You will share all of them. 
that all of them means that you will share none. Okay? Because even if, don't worry, you will share all the money. Okay. Now, let's see. These two are in parallel. And because they are in parallel, they will have the same voltage of six volts. So, if I can find the current here, remember, these two ampere will enter here and split. Some will go here, some will go here. So, if the voltage across this guy is six volts, then the current should be one ampere. Aquia? Current should be one ampere. How did I get one ampere? Six over six, which is one. So, if one ampere is going here, one ampere should also go here, since total current is two ampere. So, V is equal to IR. Six volts is equal to one ampere times R, and R becomes six over one, which is the six ohms. So, R is six ohms. So, that is another way you can solve that question by determining the voltage across this side, which is six volts. Okay. Let's continue. Which of the following instrument consumes the highest current? Okay, there's, there was a table. I think they did not show it. They didn't show it. They didn't show it. I think that table should be in the paper one. Do we have paper one? Anybody with paper one? Where is your paper one? Uh, now, yes, the rejected stone has now become the chief cornerstone. Okay. So let's find it here. Okay? We cannot leave any stone unturned because you will not be like, hey, hi, you will be like, hi, you will not be like, hey, hi, you will not be 20, 2021. Uh -huh. Look at the table. Oh, sorry. 2020. Yes, this is the table. I've seen it. Instruments. Voltage. And then power. Option A. Electric ion, electric ion, voltage is 250 volts, and then um, power is 1 kilowatt. B, TV, voltage is 220, power is 110 watts. Option C, touch, touch lights. Voltage is 6 volts. Power is 30 watts. Option D. Emission heater. Voltage is 110 volts. Power is 500 watts. Now, what are they asking us? They are asking us... Which of the following instrument consumes the highest current? Which of the following instrument consumes the highest current? Which one consumes the highest current? Class, we know that power is I via B. So current should be power divided by voltage. So one, one kilowatt is how many watts? 1,000. So 1,000 divided by this is how many? Four. So this guy consumes four ampere. This guy divided by 220 is about 0 0.5. Abi? Uh, 0 0.5 ampere. 30 divided by 6 is how many? 5. And this one is 4 point something. So answer is 5 ampere, right? Which is touch gain light. So your touch light consumes the highest power there. Then there is a diagram. They said, in which of the following diagrams is the length of the tube equal to one wavelength? Is the length of the tube equal to one wavelength? Is the length of the tube equal to one wavelength? Is the length of the tube equal to one wavelength? <laughs> In that, uh, I, I'm not sure there's anyone. No. I'm not sure there's anyone that is one wavelength. Option. Option A is Landover 4. Do you know that? 
Option A is lambda over 4. You have antinode and uh, node. So lambda over 4. Option B is like, um, okay, let me see. Lambda over 4 plus lambda over 2 plus lambda over 2. That is like 5 lambda over 4. If you do the analysis, 5 lambda over 4. Option C is antinode, antinode. That is lambda over 2. Option D is lambda over 4 plus lambda over 2, which is 3 lambda over 4. So none of them is actually an answer unless there is an error in the diagram somewhere. Okay, but from that diagram I'm seeing, I'm not sure there is anyone that is like that. I'm not sure there is anyone that is like that. The paper one is also showing the same thing. The paper one is also indicating the same thing. I'm not sure there is anyone like that. Okay? The one I'm suspecting is that B. Is that B that I'm suspecting if it has a half on the other end at the end? But it doesn't, I guess. What did they answer? They answered C. Okay, that the answer C does not make C the answer, please. Okay, because they are, remember the instruction said the one that is one wavelength, Akuya, which is lambda. But that C, if you analyze it, antinode nonenu, antinode nonana. So antinode, antinode, is it not lambda over two? So it's supposed to be half lambda. She gets so. So when you enter the hall eh, and you see it, just, huh? Just leave it blank. Please don't leave any answer unanswered. Okay? Just pick anything. Which of the following pairs is part of the electromagnetic spectrum? I, radio waves. I, I, sound waves. I, 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 gamma rays. I, 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 V, water waves. Which one is among the words? So answer is what? I and I, I, I. Okay, yeah? okay, next question. A substance has a half-life of three minutes. After six minutes, the count rate was observed to be 400. What was its count rate at zero time? 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 Now, I will tell them that half-life is small t over n, right? Okay, n, which is number of decays, is small t divided by half-life, which will give us 6 over 3. And how many decays do we have here? 2. I will tell them that remaining mass is equal to original mass times 2 power minus n. Remaining mass is equal to two n or original mass times 2 power minus n. And according to them, they said what was left was 400. So 400 is original mass we don't know times 2 power minus 2. So 400 is equal to NO over 2 power minus 2 is same as 2 power 2. Are we here? And 2 power 2 is how many? 4. 4 times 400 will give us what? That will give us 1,600. So the initial mass is 1,600. Eh? Uh -uh. It's not getting to 40. It's stopping at 38. Oh, it has finished already. Uh -uh. Okay, in this one, I think this one, this one was number 40. This one was number 40. Okay, let's go to under here. How do we move to under here? Here, neke kasha pi phone na ma wakam kasha pi. I don't know how to use phone. Huh? How many overtones can be obtained from a from a containing with a frequency of forty to a frequency of three hundred? Kedo dro yibane de de se. How many overtones? can be obtained from a containing with a frequency of 40 to a frequency of 300 hertz. Because only only the question now, day of more for more. Okay, we don't know what you are talking about. We don't know if you are talking about uh, what is it called? We don't know if you are talking about a closed pipe or an open pipe or a string. So check it very well. 
Can you cool us again? Open pipe. If it is open pipe, or yeah, if the first, if the fundamental is 40, um, next one should be what? Eight, yeah, B. That is two times. Next one is three times, 120. Next one is what? 160. I don't, I'm not sure the, I'm not sure it's open pipe. Check again. It should be closed pipe. Okay, if it is closed pipe, the first one will be three F naught, right? That is three times 40, which is gonna 120. Next one is what? Five. Five times 40, 200. Next one is what? Seven. Three times seven, 280. If you do another one, it will now be more than 300, right? So you will now have three as your answer. Three overtones. Okay, is that another year? Which one? 2021. Okay, 2021. Ma? I'm coming now. I have questions in my hand. Uncle, please, in past question, I saw the graph of diode as this. But please, what I saw in test book is this. Please, which one is correct? Now, you are talking about the current characteristics, the current voltage characteristics. You have to be very, very careful of what you are seeing. Okay? Now, the current characteristic, voltage here, current on the horizontal axis. This is what you are going to get. Something like this. Okay? You will get a, something that looks like this. Voltage and current. This is what it will look like. Now, but sometimes, jump will swap the current and voltage. If they put it, then this is what it should look like. You see that? Because you revert these two, it will no longer bend inwards. Like it will bend out like that. So always take note of which one is on the vertical and which one is on the horizontal. Yes, where is the question? Please, if you want to send question, don't write it on a piece of paper. Take maybe a 1,000 error note and write the question there, right? Yes, yes. Like, write it on, on top of the 1,000 of... Okay, it will not get to me. <laughs> okay, when do she know ever? Uncle, please explain number 13. It confuses me a lot. Yeah, I got it. Sir, please, 2001 number 30. Draw the graph of IV transistor. Look at it. I have just shown it here. Okay? Oh, yeah, let's move on. Okay, are you in 2000 and, sorry, yeah, 2021? Yeah. Okay, 2021. 20, was anybody born in 2021 here? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You haven't Okay, in the class. Oh, yeah, I'm on 2021 on the day jump. If you see someone born in 2021, right in jump, will you not run? Oh, yeah, let's write. Okay, uh, you are not writing. You have it. The slope of the straight line displacement time graph indicates what? Displacement over time is what, class? Is it distance traveled? Is it uniform velocity? Is it uniform acceleration or uniform speed? Uniform velocity. Displacement over time, but again, velocity. Next question. A man will exert the greatest pressure when he does what? A lies on his flat lies flat on his back. Or is it? B lies on his belly. C stands on both feet. Stands on the toe of one foot. Why is that so? You have grandpa's question, she. Why is it going to be when? Yes. Okay, good. Because pressure is inversely proportional to what? Area. Pressure is inversely proportional to area. Class, do you remember the formula for pressure? What is the formula for pressure? Force over what? Okay. Oh, yeah, look at this. So, if I say that pressure is equal to force over area, what is the relationship between pressure and area? Inverse. Meaning that the lower the area, the higher the word pressure. And the higher the area, the lower the what now? Pressure. Okay? Now, Oya Gente, you know this shoe that Omoa and you used to wear? There's the one that has pointed, that is like this. You know that shoe now? 
She be you know that shoe that looks like this. Eh, uh -huh. you don't know it. This which are olden days. How, how is this? How is this an olden days shoe? And then you have the one that is like this. Okay, the one that used to have a very flat base, but it will be high. What do you call that one? I used to call it inclined plane. Yes, I call it because it looks like inclined plane now. Okay, so you call that one wage. Now, madu we zogo oko witinka nanka keke gaka fogo fo. Akwanka now. Why would this one pain you more? Because this one now has a small surface area. Okay, huh? So this one will try to make you like Jesus Christ. Because it will try to puncture it. But this one, oh when you can mad zogo, but with this one, you'll be like, ouch. Okay, let's say you're a guy and a lady steps on you with this, you'll be like, ouch. Something like that. And the lady will be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Can I get you a drink? I'm in Nigeria. Okay. It doesn't happen in Nigeria, right? Uh -huh. But where I'm from, it happens. When you hurt somebody, you try to make it up to them, right? Uh. Okay. You don't just tell the person sorry and start going. Can I make it up to you? Something like that. Okay. But also go up by waiting car. You will start crying. Hey! You start crying. Okay. Oh, no, I you, please, I'm so sorry. Sir. If I wound you now. Okay. So because this one is much more painful because of the low surface area. Is that okay now? Uh -huh. Which of the units of the following physical quantities are derived? I, area, I, I, trust, I, V, pressure, I, V, mass. Derived. Area, is it derived? Yes. Area, is it derived? Yes. Trust, is it derived? Yes. Pressure, is it derived? Yes. Mass, is it derived? No. So, answer is what? I, 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 and I, I, I. Option word, B. Next question. A ball of mass, 0 0.5 kg, moving at 10 meters per second collides with another ball of equal mass at rest. If the two balls move off together after impact, calculate their common velocity. Calculate their common velocity. Calculate their common velocity. I will tell them that initial momentum or momentum before impact is equal to momentum after what? Impact. Now, I will say M1U1 plus M2U2 equal to M plus M2 all times V. Are we here? So V is the common velocity. Now, the first mass, what is the first mass? 0 0.5. Traveling at what? 10. Now, second mass, they said it is equal mass, meaning that M2 is also what? 0 0.5. But it was at rest. And because it's at rest, U is what? 0. And this becomes 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 times V. What would this give to me, class? 5 is equal to 1V. Are we here? Yeah. Which is V is equal to how many? 5. So 5 meters per second. That is the velocity they will move with together. Five meters per second. Okay, next question. The motion of a body is simple harmonic if the what? The motion of a body is simple harmonic if the what? A, acceleration is always directed towards a fixed point. B, part of a motion is in a straight line. C, acceleration is proportional to the square of the distance from a fixed point. D, acceleration is constant and directed towards a fixed point. So what is the answer? A, acceleration is always directed towards a what? A fixed point. You see that whenever a pendulum is swinging, whether it swings from here to America, it will still pass through the middle. Are we here? So it will still come back and pass through that middle and swing back up again. Which of the following is not correct about the molecules of a substance in a gaseous state? They, A, are in constant state of motion. Is it true? They say which of the following is not correct. So is A correct? A, sorry, B, have different speeds. C, have a temperature which is measured by the kine average kinetic energy. 
D, the collision between gases is perfectly inelastic. Now, what does elastic and what is elastic? What is elastic and inelastic collision? Yes. Yes. I, I didn't hear you. Sorry, please come again. In elastic collision, kinetic energy and momentum is conserved. Okay? In elastic. Okay? Kinetic energy is not conserved. Okay, now, that is actually very true. Now, when you say elastic collision, pay attention. Elastic collision is a type of collision where both momentum and energy is conserved. Where both what, class? Momentum and energy is what? Conserved. But in case of inelastic collision, it is a type of collision whereby only who is conserved? Momentum. Only momentum is conserved in inelastic collision. In a simpler term, can joge, if a if two uh, dangote trailers, two dangote trailers carrying uh, cement jam each other. Jam each other. Okay? Who we pay? Let's say Mr. A and Mr. B are two trailers. Dangote trailers. And uh, uh, Mr. A and Mr. B now jam together. Who we pay for the damages? No, not about Dangote. Like, is it Mr. A that will pay the damages or B will pay damages? Who of them? Which of them? Both of them, right? So maybe because both of them have the same trailer and all that, Mr. A will say, go and repair your trailer. Mr. B will say, okay, you two go and repair your own trailer. All of them will just go on their own. And you see that because both of them have the same size, that kind of collision is almost elastic collision because energy is also conserved. The energy that Mr. A will use and jam Mr. B is the same energy that Mr. B will use and jam Mr. A because it is dangote thriller, dangote thriller. But imagine you were inside Keke. Keke and dangote thriller. Eh? So imagine you are inside Keke and I'm inside dangote thriller and we jam each other. <laughs> Who will suffer? <laughs> Who will suffer? Is it you that is inside Keke now? Akwagua? You will suffer, right? You will suffer, right? It's you that will suffer. Okay? So you see that in that kind of collision, somebody will die. Okay? Because it is not the same amount of force. Like I was watching one skit like that, and then one guy in Keke, okay, was carrying uh, the skits guy at the back. And then there was a trailer also on the side of the road. And then the trailer was trying to tell the guy to move one side. Then the keke guy was also shouting, if you don't move this thing now, go damn you. If you are the person at the back of the keke, what will you do? <laughs> okay? So imagine, imagine your keke driver telling trailer that if you don't move this thing, they will jam, it will jam you. <laughs> okay? You see that? So bad, they go, but how also? Yeah, because that keke driver is probably someone that ran away from psychiatric hospital. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. Because when, when you have done that thing they used to do, you will now be very high. How many of you have smoked in this class before? Have you ever smoked? You smoked matches. <laughs> okay, as, as kids, one of the evil things we did was we were smoking paper. We smoked paper. Okay, yes. Because, you know, you know, you'll be seeing adults doing it, and then it's, you just feel like, ah, this thing is, this will make sense. So, so, one day like that in school, during break, at the backyard, we gather paper. Somebody brought matches from their house, and we lighted it, and we're doing big boy at the back. <laughs> Auntie, catch us that. <laughs> thing they do us. Okay? Now, but obviously, at this point, if they ask you to go and smoke, will you smoke? Some of you used to smoke. In fact, there's somebody in this class that used to see smoke. But let me not call that person. Should I call that person? Should I call that person? That person might be your friend, though. I should call. Uh -huh. If I start asking now, what do you, you don't smoke? You say, yes, you don't smoke. But you smoke shisha. Do you smoke shisha? 
You don't know what shisha is? Ah, don't worry, don't worry. Don't know, don't know shisha. Don't know shisha, don't know. You don't know what shisha is? Do you know what shisha is? You know what shisha is? You know what shisha is? How did you know what shisha is? You've seen it. Who told you it was shisha? Who told you it was shisha? Who told you the name is shisha? You know it's shisha. What is uh, what is wrong with shisha? So you used to smoke shisha? Eh? You used to take shisha? They say that when you smoke, you will get inspiration, right? Eh? Yeah, that, that, like, you'll be very high. Be very, very high. I will never It's helpful. Eh? Have I done it? <laughs> Me that have tingly, tingly brain. Hmm. If, I, if I just, one puff like this, I'm mad. <laughs> I just go mad. So I cannot try it. I cannot try it. Okay, I almost fell victim one day. I almost fell victim. Now God, now he saved me. Okay, and that made me actually stop eating in people's house. Okay, yes, because while in school, I actually went to a friend's house, and then I was very hungry that afternoon. I just rushed, enter in kitchen, go carry soup, and then I dropped the soup on the table went to go and buy fufu and came back. As I came back, the guy now entered and was like, guy, you won't chop this soup? No chop amo. I was like, why? Not be soup. It was like saying, put something inside. I was like, what you put inside? And the guy was a smoker. I said, guy, which kind thing be this now? So as you may say, I know, say, my come out. Go buy fufu now. By now, I've done the high. <laughs> yeah? By now, I've done the high. After that day, I stopped eating in this house. Okay? So be very, very careful. Under an AJ, be mad. That's how they use you and do a good go. Yes, even party people used to put it inside cake. Yes, in cakes. You come to party, everybody will be high. And I'll be asking, ah, did they drink alcohol? No, they had cake. Okay, next question. A given mass of gas has a pressure of 80 newton per meter squared at a temperature of 47 degrees celsius if the temperature is reduced to 27 degrees celsius with the volume remaining constant the new pressure is what the new pressure is what what am i going to use is it pressure law that p1 over t1 equals p2 over t2 p1 is 80 t1 is 47 Convert to Kelvin, right? Yeah. That will give us 220. Is it 220? Yeah. 220 equals P2. Yeah. Eh? Oh, sorry, 320. And then this is um, 27. Next one, 300. Okay? Zero cancel zero. Cross multiply. P2 should be um, 8 times 300 over 32. What should that give me? 75 Newton per meter squared. Okay, okay. Next question. 0 0.5 kg of water at 10 degrees Celsius is completely converted to ice by extracting 88,000 joules of heat from it. If the specific heat capacity of water is 4,200, calculate the specific latent heat of fusion of ice. Calculate the specific latent heat of fusion of ice. Yes, any problem? 0 0.5 kg of water at 10 degrees Celsius is completely converted to ice at 0 degrees Celsius. So total amount of heat, total amount of heat, total amount of heat should be ML plus MC delta theta. So 88,000 is equal to mass is 0 point what? 5 times L we don't know plus 0 0.5 times 4,200. Change in temperature is what? 10? Okay. So 88,000 is 0 0.5 L plus, what would this give me? 21,000. Is it 21,000? Then move this over. So 88,000 
minus 21,000 equals 0 0.5L. Subtract, what do you get? 60 what? 60 what? 67,000 equals 0 0.5L. So that L becomes 67,000 divided by 0 0.5. That will give us what? 134, Abby? 1,000 joules per kilogram. And that is, um, do we have it in the option? Okay, they gave it in kilojoule, right? So we divide by 1,000. Divide by 1,000, you have 134, right? 134 joules per kilogram. That is option what? C. Option C. Question? Which of the following instrument may be used to measure relative humidity? What is the answer? Hygrometer. Good. A source of sound produces waves. A source of sound produces waves in air of wavelength 1.65. If the speed of sound in air is 330 meter per second, the period of vibration in air is what? So, I will tell them that V is equal to lambda over T. Are we here? Yes. So that T is equal to lambda over V, which is 1.65 over 330. What would that give to me? 0 0.0005 0 .005 seconds. 0 0.005 seconds. Option what? Option B. A boy standing some distance from the foot of a tall cliff claps his hands. Yes? What happened? You were making noise. You were making noise. That is why she seized it. Why are you disturbing her? A boy standing some distance from the foot of a tall cliff claps his hands and hears an echo 0 0.5 seconds later. If the speed of sound is 340 meter per second, how far is he from the cliff? How far is he from the cliff? What are you going to use there? Is he a co formula? Okay, um, that V is equal to what? Okay, 2x over t. Are we here? Okay, so V is equal to 2x over t. 340 is equal to 2x over 0 0.5. This will give me 170 equals 2x. Are we here? When this multiplies, and x becomes 170 over 2, which is how many? Six, sorry, 80 what? 65, are we here? Oh, sorry, 85, yes, meters. 85 meters. 85 meters. Which of the following is not a vector quantity? Momentum, force, temperature, displacement. Temperature, yes. Calculate the heat energy required to vaporize 50 grams of water initially at 80. If the specific heat capacity of water is this and the specific latent heat is that. So the, we are looking for the quantity of heat required to vaporize. So I'm going to use this formula again. I will use this formula again. So H is equal to the said 50 grams. We don't need to convert anything here. Why are we not converting? Because if you notice, specific heat capacity and latent heat are in joules per whatever grams. Abi? Uh -huh. So 50 times, what is the latent heat of vaporization? 2260, Abi? 2260 plus 50 times, specific heat capacity is what? 4.23, Abi? 4.23, uh huh. Change in temperature is what? They said to vaporize. So, then change in temperature should be 20 now. Is it not 20? Why is it 20? They said calculate the heat energy required to vaporize the 50 gram of water initially at 80. Remember, for you to vaporize that, you need to take it to boiling point, which is 100, right? So, what is the change in temperature? 20. Oh yeah, let's add that up. 50 times 20, sorry, 50 times 2260 is what? 50 times 2260. 50 times, one, one, 
50 times 4.23 times 20. Yeah? 4, 2, 4, 2, 3, 0. Like that? Okay, I should add on that zero here. And then how many zeros here? Okay, oh yeah, add up. What do we get? 1, 1, 7, 2, 3, 0. Okay? It's not there. 1, 1, 7, 2, 0. Eh? They used what? They used the 80. No, now, if you do that, that means there is a problem there now. Because for you to vaporize the water, you need to take it to, you need to take it to boiling point. So you are supposed to have this. Let me see the explanation. Mm -hmm. They use the 80 like that. Mm. Mm. Please, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. So you can agree with them if you want to. I don't agree with that. Next question, please. In a series RLC circuits at resonance, the voltages across the resistor and inductor are... For 30 and 40 respectively. Oh, you've gotten the answer already. We have answered it before, right? Yes. If the frequency of an emitted X-ray is 1.6 times 10 power 16 hertz, the accelerating potential is what? The accelerating potential is what? The accelerating potential is what? And what will you say? What will you tell them? Now, give me a minute. It's not energy you're looking for. I would require energy in a trouble You are looking for V. That is the V. I can say E V equal to E V equals H F. H F. So that V is what? H F over E. Okay? So let's try this. 6.63 times 10 power minus 34 times what is the frequency? 1.6 times 10 power 16 all over 1.6, Abi? Times 10 power minus 19. What will you get finally, finally? Eh? Okay. Uh, this 1.6, we cancel 1.6. So we have 6.63. Times 10 raised to power minus 34 plus 16. Minus 18, Abi. Over 10 power minus 19. So when this guy comes up, what okay, about plus? So 6.63 times 10 raised to power 1. Aquia? Which is 66.3. 66.3 volts. Option gene call ya abo. Option gene C. If the fraction of the atoms of a radioactive material left after 120 years is 1 over 64, what is the half-life of the material? 20. I think we have answered this one too. Yes, answer is 20 years. A certain radioactive source emits radiation that was found to be deflected by both magnetic and electric field. The radiation is what? A, beta rays, gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet rays. Beta rays, good. The inner diameter of a test tube can be measured accurately using a what? Yeah? A pair of what? Vernier calipers. Okay. Next question. Two bodies have masses in the ratio 3 is to 1. They experience forces which impact on them. Acceleration in the ratio 2 is to 9. Find the ratio of the forces, the masses experience. Okay. Class. What is force mass times what acceleration okay so we are looking for now f1 f1 is m1 times a1 so according to the question they said the first one or whatever that they experience a force in the sorry their masses are in the ratio three is to one so first one will be three 
Then, acceleration of the first one is what? Two. So, three times two will give me what? Six. For the second one, it is M2 times A2. What is the mass of the second one? One. Acceleration is what? Nine. So, this will give me nine. So, what will be the ratio of F1 over F2? Six over nine. Abi? Which is how many here? Two. How many here? Three. So, answer will be two is to what? Two is to three. Option what? C. Next question. Particles of mass 10 power minus 2 kg is fixed to the tip of a fan, a fan blade, which rotates with an angular speed of 100 radians per second. If the radius of the blade is 0.2 meter, the centripetal force is what? Centripetal force. Now, what formula do you use for centripetal force? You can use mv squared over r, Abi. Uh -huh. mv squared over r but we don't know the linear velocity do you know that v is omega r do you know that v is omega r so by the time you put it here you will have m bracket omega r squared over r okay yeah? which when you evaluate m omega square r square over r cancel cancel you have m omega square r so mass is 10 power minus 2 times 100 squared times 0 0.2 okay yeah? okay so this will be 100 times 0 0.2, which will give us what? 20. 20 Newton. So the force experienced is 20 Newton. Okay? Because this is 100 times 100. So one of the 100 will collect this one. Okay, a lead bullet of mass 0 0.05 is fired with a velocity of 200 meters per second. Have we answered this question before? Yes. What did we get? 50. Okay. Next question. A ball of mass 0 0.1 kg is thrown vertically upward. Should I try it with this phone? A ball of mass 0 0.1 kg is thrown vertically upwards with a speed of 10 meters per second from the top of a tower 10 meter high. Neglecting air resistance, its total energy just before hitting the ground is what? Its total energy just before hitting the ground is what? Its total energy just before hitting the ground is what? Its total energy just before hitting the ground is what? Its total energy before hitting the ground is what? Its total energy before hitting the ground is what? Its total energy before hitting the ground is what? Its total energy before hitting the ground is what? Uh -huh. Did you get the answer? Okay, so they said a ball of mass. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, class, if you notice, if you notice, that object was projected from the top of another object. Okay, so it was not just from the horizontal. Okay, according to the question, they said it was projected from a height of what? 10 meters. So let's get the height it will attain first of all. Let's call it H1. So I can say that H1 is U squared over 2G. What velocity was he projected with, please? What velocity was he projected with to? Eh? Pro yes, 10. So 10 squared over 2 times 10. So 10 squared is 100. 100 divided by 20 will give me what? 5. So 5 meters. So H1, that is the height where it will get to from that platform is five meters but remember okay let me just show you class let me just show you this is the horizontal ground ever get a horizontal ground then this is where the object was projected from it wire from ever it will attain a height of what five meters but from the horizontal ground what height did it attain 10 plus 15 plus five sorry so total height is what now 15 so the energy will be that is the potential energy will now be mgh. What is the mass of the object? 0 0.1. G is how many? 10. Total height is what? 5 plus, not 5. 5 plus what now? 10. So 0 0.1 times 10 times 15. What would that give to me? That would give me 15 what? Joules. Or the one option. Option what? Option what? C. Yes, option C. That is number 22. Okay, last question so that we can break our fast. Okay? Or do we, should we finish it? Yes. Do you want to finish it? Yes. 
Do you want to finish it? Yes. I, I'm not talking about my... Me, I'm, me, I don't chop. Oh. I don't chop. <laughs> Die, what, what is it? Eh? I'm wicked. How am I wicked? I'm, I'm, I'm breaking the fast. Before. I'm not doing the fasting. For you people. Yeah, you see me say, am I your Jesus Christ? <laughs> I told you I'm praying for you. It does not mean I should not eat. Eh? Okay. Don't worry. Let's just solve this one and then we'll break our fast. Okay, so that. Okay, let's switch to the five. Okay. That's a good number. A car of mass 800 kg attains a speed of 25 meters per second in 20 seconds. The power developed in the engine is what? 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 Okay, so we can use, we can use, now, the kinetic energy of that engine will be 1 over 2 mv squared. So 1 over 2 times mass is 800. What velocity was it traveling with? Eh? 25. So 25 squared. So 2 year 1, 2 year is 400. What is 400 times 25 squared? 400 times 25 squared. 400 times 25 squared. 400 times 625 is what? Eh? 250,000. Another zero, Abby. Yeah. All over time. We now find it um, power. Power is energy over time. So 250,000 over 20. Zero cancel zero. Two year one. Two year how many? One, two, five, zero, Abby. Yeah. Which is 1.25 times 10 power what? One. Oh, there, there's another zero, right? Okay, times 10 power what? Four. 1.25 times 10 power 4. Do we have it there? Option A. Uh, what happened? They, what happened? They said is what? What did, they, what did they say? V squared over T. MV squared over T. Where is the half now? There's supposed to be a half. So where, where did the MV square just come out from? That's what I'm telling you now. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be half MV squared, not just MV, MV squared. Okay? Like I said, my answer is 1.25. Whatever you want to pick. When the brakes in a car are applied, the frictional force on the tires is what? A, a disadvantage. Is it a disadvantage? B, a disadvantage. Okay, C, an advantage because it is in the direction of motion of the car. An advantage because it is in the opposite direction of the car. Yes. Uh -uh. That is the answer, now. Huh? Advantage, right? Because friction, remember, friction is always in the opposite word, direction. Okay, last question, and then we move. We'll continue next time. If the stress on a wire is 10 power 7, and the wire is stretched from an original length of 10 cm to 10.05 cm. The Young's modulus is what? Now, all we need to do is find the stress, right? Oh, yeah, stress, stress. Okay, we already know the stress, sorry. We can find the strain, right? So strain should be extension over original length. Do you agree with me that extension is 0 0.05 yeah. over 10? How did I get the 0 0.05? 10 0.05 minus 10. So divided by 10, what should that give me? 0 0.005. Then I will tell them that Young's modulus is stress over strain, which is 10 power 7 over 5 times 10 raised to power what? 1, 2, 3. Power minus 3, right? Okay. 1 over 5 is 0 0.2 times 10 raised to power 7 plus 3 is what? 10. Move this guy by 1. I will have 2 times 10 power 9. Power nine. Nine. Newton per meter squared. Newton per meter squared. Newton per meter squared. Uh, there, okay, yes, option D, right?